Welcome to this new edition of QPR product videos. I'm Yossi from QPR Software and today I would like to show you the QPR operational development methodology template and how it can be used in typical operational development cases. In this video we will first explain you what QPR ODM is all about, then tell you shortly about the template and then show you how a case company can use the template. QPR ODM methodology addresses companies' various challenges related to, for example, strategy, operating models, or change in the business environment. QPR has assembled a complete solution that contains concepts and governance for operational development, method to structure and model operations, and method to design the transition roadmap and deployment. Before going to look at the real case, let's have a look at the template. The template contains a very pragmatic and business-oriented framework linking strategy to business capabilities and their practical realization by organization, processes and ICT. This is the top-level view of the QPR ODM template with the business management layer. Then the business, information, application and technology architectures and a portfolio and program management level. With the QPR Enterprise Architect software or the web-based QPR portal, we can easily navigate through the diagrams. The tool palette will adjust automatically according to the diagram. Here we have an example of the catalog view. And here a two-dimensional matrix view. Let's start now our demo featuring QPR ODM template. Thanks to its complete integrated offering, QPR can offer the essential tools for first monitoring the real situation and then start the modeling, planning and design work. The integrated offering contains QPR Process Analyzer, the process mining software, QPR Metrics Performance Management software and QPR Enterprise Architect. We first start observing our performance through management dashboards. We observe that the customer satisfaction of the company has started to decrease. We need to see the actual processes where the customer satisfaction is calculated from. Back in the template, we navigate to the order management model. It shows the two processes are in red. To discover the real process taking place, we go to the QPR process analyzer to make an analysis based on actual order data. First, we need to understand the data coming from IT. We can then see that the manufacturing process has an issue. Almost 30% of orders are stopping here. We do an analysis of these transactions. The profiling analysis shows that problems are coming from the online and Salesforce order channel. The actual process data we got from QPR Process Analyzer will be the basis for process improvement. With the profiling and influence analysis, we can go deeper in the actual data. We now go back to our template and we'll show how improvement in order management is linked to the rest of the company. We navigate to the customer experience strategy map. The main driver is to re-engineer customer experience across three segments. The strategy map is then further defined in goals, business objectives, capabilities, etc. Then moving to business models, there are different value propositions for each business model. Capabilities are linked with work packages that represent the improvement programs that will start to implement the improvements based on strategy. We now move to the conceptual data. This shows the information needed to be gathered in order to understand customer experience, for example how customer can be linked to business interactions and then to customer engagement specialization. Also linked is the operational model and how company provides customer value. The logical data model makes it possible to have more detailed level modeling with regards to customer experience and how it can be related to applications and to calculate customer value when measuring processes. After this, let's have a look at the application areas. The application portfolio must be categorized or grouped based on business purpose and area. We use Microsoft Office tools to understand certain application prioritizations based on different business areas. It is possible to publish these kinds of bubble metrics reports through our web portal. Next, we will move to the impact analysis. The order management capability comes from strategy. 
The initial requirements related to this capability are coming from customer. The requirements have been converted so that we can map them to current as is state for an impact analysis. All gathered requirements link to the order management solution. The order management solution is composed of four smaller solutions. Going one step down, we have the links to the logical application, components, technology and hardware. Let's then have a look at the work packages. The work packages are used in order to start designing the to-be architecture. The purpose is to refine initial requirements with more detailed refined requirements to understand what actually needs to be done in the to-be architecture in each of the four architectural domains. We then move on to the operational development roadmaps. Roadmaps have been created in a way that there is a current state roadmap for each architectural domain and a change impact roadmap on the high level. The change impact roadmap is needed so that we can see how the roadmaps will be impacted by the new work packages to be deployed. If we open the roadmaps we have created, first there is always the business outcome from the strategy map. This outcome is linked with the actual work packages. Work packages can be modeled as deeply as thoroughly as needed. We can also see the business capabilities that are being improved or implemented. And here we have a work package showing us links which have been removed. As a last item, we will have a look at our dashboards for project monitoring. The different stages of the project can be monitored through one dashboard. We can get more information on the different stages. And we can have metrics for the project monitoring as well. This concludes our video on the QPR ODM template. Thank you for watching. Follow us on community.qpr.com and qpr.com.